Hi, this is Jody from the Brian Duncan Group. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, we're going to show you how to search for foreclosures, short sales, and other distressed property, um, and active listings in general here in Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Chesapeake, and the surrounding areas of Hampton Roads. If you have any questions about what you're seeing today or uh, any properties that you might be interested in, just give us a call at 757-802-3004, or you can reach us by email at info at brianduncangroup.com. Now the website you're going to go to is vbforeclosures.com. So I'm going to open up that website by starting a new browser window here and just putting in vbforeclosures.com. This will bring you to your main login page where you're going to put in your contact info. Now I want to point out that you only have to put in your contact info once because after you log in for the first time you're sent an email automatically with a direct link to the search page. So as long as you have that email uh, or you've bookmarked that uh, the link that we send you, you're able to log in uh, without having to actually put in your information each time. Down below, uh, you put in when you would like to buy. Say I'm going to buy within three months, so I'll select that. And any other questions that you have that, that you might want answered. And when you're ready, just click log in. Now this page actually just has a few different um, bits of information to make your searching more efficient. When you're ready after you've read those, click here to begin. And this will bring you to your main search page. This is the page where, you're, where you'll narrow down your search um, to your requirements and your criteria. At the top here you'll see two different links, one for active listings and one for foreclosures. If you want all the listings in Virginia Beach, if you want to search for every listing that's available, including foreclosures and short sales, you would select this link. If you only want foreclosures and short sales, you would select this link for foreclosures. And that's what we're interested in, so we'll leave it as is. Down in the middle part of the screen here, you can see that there's 1,300 matches, uh, 1,300 properties that match right now. We're going to narrow that down a little bit because I know that I'm, say I'm only interested in Virginia Beach and Norfolk, so you would select what property or what areas you're interested in and click the add button. And at, now that I selected Virginia Beach and Norfolk, it's narrowed it down to 655 listings. That's a little bit better, but it's still a little unmanageable to have to look through all those because probably um, not many of those actually match what I'm looking for. So we're going to narrow it down even further down below here. I'm only looking for a single family, say. I know that I've been pre-approved for 250. That's probably the maximum I'm going to um, be able to spend. So I'm going to I'm going to start my search at 260. And I know from past experience that probably nothing under 200,000 is really going to be what I'm interested in. So I'll select 200,000. I'm only interested in three bedrooms. And I know that I want at least two baths. And I want a minimum of 1,600 square feet. Now you can see that after I entered uh, the different criteria here at the bottom, it narrowed it down even further to 78 matches. That's a lot more manageable than 655. So let's take a look at what listings it brought up for us. Just click the Go To Search Results, and we'll be able to look at that on the next page. Okay, now here on the next page, you'll see all the listings that matched what the criteria that we put in. Now, by default, they're all sorted by highest price to lowest price. So as you can see, the, the first ones here start at 260. Now I want to search by lowest to highest. So up on the right-hand side here, you can see where it says Sort By. All I have to do is click the price button, and that will bring it up uh, the opposite way, searching for or sorting from lowest to highest. So each page here on the bottom will have eight properties, and you can scroll through the pages by clicking the next button here at the top of the screen or at the bottom of the screen. And if there's if I see a property that I might be interested in, say this property right here, or this property, you can click any of them. I'm going to search. I'm going to click on this foreclosure property. It'll bring up the main details about the individual property that you're interested in. On the left here is the the main picture, along with some other pictures if they're available, the address, the price, and a few details about the property up here. And I want to point out this tools section because this could come in handy for you. You can save the listing for later if it's a property you might want to come back to. You can click uh, the contact this agent um, link. And what that'll do is if you have a question about a property or you want to see more pictures or anything really, you can click this link, the contact this agent link, and send us a question. We'll get right back to you with a response. 
If you really like the listing and you want to see it in person, you can request a showing that will allow you to put in a date and time that you'd like to go out and actually see the property in person. And we'll arrange that and confirm the availability of the property with you. And finally, email listing. You can email the listing to a friend or relative uh, if you want somebody else to check it out for you. In the middle part of the screen here is the actual remarks that the listing agent put in. So I'll give you a little bit more details about the property. And all of the listing details are at the bottom here. So it goes into a lot more detail about the property. The year built, square footage, uh, type of siding. And right up at the top here, you'll see property type, where it says residential, and it also says REO bank owned. If it says REO and bank owned, that means it's a foreclosure. Bank owned property is a foreclosure. Um, or it could say short sale, which means it's a short sale property. And you can scroll through down here and check out all the other details about the property and print the listing if you want down here in the, in the lower right. Now, I also want to point out that if you have any questions about the property and you decide to call us, um, for more info, just make sure you note the MLS number, and that is the uh, seven-digit number up here. It's actually up at the top and the bottom of the screen. Okay, So we're through with this listing. We can go back to search results by clicking this link here. That will bring us back to the main page with all the different listings. And you can continue to sort through them um, and see which ones match and print them out if you want or save them for later or email them to yourself, however you want to handle it. And when you're ready, just give us a call, and we'd be happy to go out and, uh, and get you more information or show you the properties in person. And that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions about uh, the search process or what you've just seen, give us a call at 757-802-3004 or email us at info at Have a great day.